Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to do another quick video for you uh, today. Ever since we released the Yoda uh, holster video and photographs all over the internet, we've been inundated with questions about how to make a multiple layer holster with uh, a pattern cut out of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate on a little piece of scrap for you today because it's just the, the basics of it are really simple. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to obtain your stencil or your pattern and uh, what I like to do is I'd like to start with a flat piece of Kydex because it's easier to lay it all out. So you'll take your pattern, tape it down to the, uh, to the kydex, and when you cut through, um, what happens is as you cut through the paper, your, uh, your blade will leave a trace of where you need to cut, um, or you can just draw it freehand if you'd like. Uh, I've drawn it freehand on this scrap, and we're going to show you how we do this. We don't have a like water jet cutter or a router or any kind of laser cutting equipment. Uh, because that's expensive and we don't really do a whole lot of this that often. Additionally, uh, I've heard from a number of sources that laser cutting or engraving Kydex has a potential to release some really hazardous fumes and also shorten the lifespan of the laser device, so we stay away from that. The easy way to do this with stuff that you already have is you'll come over here, you'll drill out the center of where you uh, want to cut. And then what I've done here on the scroll saw is I've made sure that the bottom portion of the blade is secure. I've tightened up the mechanism in there. And then you just thread your blade through the hole that you've cut. And re-secure it. Check the tension. And then cut it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this larger area here and then come back and do the point. Well, mo mostly because the point, it's really hard to get a, uh, you know, there's a minimum cutting radius of each blade. You don't want to twist the blade or cause it to snap. So we'll come back in and do that part last. So we've done this very coarsely and generally just for the purposes of this quick demonstration video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back in here, cut that out, and there you go. You, now you can accomplish a sharp point. And what I'm going to do after this, obviously, is uh, clean up the inside, this inside edge with uh, sandpaper or a blade, and then um, to add it as a third layer, I presume you've already formed your front and back halves of your holster. You'll take those and you'll, you'll heat this uh, third layer up and just lay it over top of the front half of the uh, holster you know, with the, with the mold or your positive still in there and form it. Um, now obviously we don't have the capacity to get involved in making you know, large scale production uh, uh, like triple layer holsters with multiple colors and stuff. We've scaled back that level of customization as you know in order to focus on uh, the production items. However, there is a really clever guy out there uh, who's making this stuff. You should go check out Tidex Holsters. That's with a Tango instead of a Kilo, T-Y-D-E-X. Uh, and I'll post the uh, link to their Facebook page uh, in this video because they're making some really cool stuff and I think you should uh, check them out if you want to get involved in purchasing some sort of uh, three-level uh, highly decorated holsters. Thanks for watching.